What's up guys and welcome back to One Life for another quick tutorial. Join me behind the Vauxhall Corsa C and today I'm going to show you guys how to remove and replace the registration plate bulb or your number plate bulb. Uh, it's an important one as it will fail your MOT and it's something that's dead easy that anyone can do on the driveway at home rather than take it to the garage and pay someone else to do it. All you need for this is a flat screwdriver and that is it. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right guys, so first thing you want to do is go straight up to the back of the car, where your number plate is, lock up my trusty pointy and butter knife, and you'll see a light there, and one on the other side. Now, I'm using this butter knife as an example to show that even if you don't have tools, you can still do it. As long as you own a butter knife, you can do this job. A flat screwdriver is preferable, but there's nothing wrong with the butter knife. So if we look closely, so it focus, you'll see there's a little bit there. You can stick your butter knife in that and clip it down. Probably still a two-handed job, so you can get your fingers in it and sort of pull it out as you unclip it. So it unclips, and this side will come down first, like that. So once you unclip it, the whole light will drop down on the wire and you can see here we've got another little clip, a bit dusty, connecting to the actual light, sort of housing itself. So you're going to unclip that like so, and do that with one finger and pop it off, leaving just this bit. Now this plastic housing has the bulb sort of just behind there where the wire clips in and this spins off, so if you watch that, turn and pull out just like that you have your bulb you can now pull the bulb out better with two hands it just literally pulls out the top like so and to fit your new bulb so you've got your plastic housing your new bulb will have a flat bit like that so it lines up with the prongs Stick that in like so. Then you're going to put the bulb holder back into the light housing. And that'll simply twist back on again like that. That's your new bulb back in. And now it's just a case of clipping this end back onto the wire. I'll do it with one hand again. your new bulb fitted if you wanted to you could test it now before you put it back in to make sure it does work and then when you're happy with it you got to stick this end in first like that make sure it clips in place see how it clips in at the back there and then simply push it up and that is job done new holders fitted your edge plate gets lit up and you don't fail your MOT jobs are good and Right guys, I hope you found this useful. That's it, just a quick one today. If you like the tutorials on the course of C, let us know in the comments, especially if there's anything you want doing, and I'll get that done for you. Other than that, until next time, peace. <laughs>